Hey, I gotta start hitting that play button too fast, man. I hit that play button, not being hit, you no know, trying to buy. I mean, okay, whatever. Welcome back to the channel, Smoke Daddy Barbecue. Hey, turn it up with man. I like to thank everybody for like, comment, subscribing to my channel. Thank you for telling a friend, telling a friend, telling a friend, and keep on telling a friend, telling a friend that Smoke Daddy Barbecue is gonna do it again. Hey. Yeah, y'all seen the thumbnail, right? What y'all think about them baby back ribs? Hmm? 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 I'm going to show y'all a quick, easy, simple recipe. I'm talking about with some seasoning out the store. I'm not even doing a homemade rub. I'm going to show y'all some seasoning out the store. And we're going to use it. So if you want to try the same exact recipe, you can do it at home. But before I even get started, though, you got to like the video. You know I'm waiting on you because I ain't in no rush because I'm going to smoke these ribs probably about, I'm going to say about four hours. I'm going to probably do them about that right at 250 degrees. You know, give or take. But I'm going to keep y'all in tune, but you got to like the video. I'm watching you. What you. Yeah, okay. You liked it. You did it. You did it. Hey, you didn't like it. What you waiting on? Go ahead and like the video so I can show these baby back reels I'm finna do. Yeah, they finna be tender. Yeah, baby backs. Yeah, I did the spell ribs. So it's time to do some baby back ribs. Okay, yeah, everybody liked it. You liked it. You liked it. Okay. All right, everybody liked the video, so I'm going to get into this. Um, like I said, we're going to do about a 300, no, not 300, 250 degrees for about probably four hours. I um, only got one slab, so you know you cook it just one thing on the grill at a time. Sometimes it may cook a little faster, but I'm gonna go about four hours. So yeah, let's get started. Y'all ready? You seen the thumbnail? Look at the thumbnail one more time. As a matter of fact, let me put it up right here. Alright. So you saw it. You seen them ribs? Go ahead and stay tuned for the whole video so you can know how to cook these ribs at home. You can have these same delicious ribs, nice and tender, at your house. You gotta watch the whole video. Yeah, baby back ribs. See them baby back ribs. Let's get prepared for this. Some basic seasons out of Walmart. This is all I'm gonna give you. It's nothing hard. It's something very simple. Go ahead and always pre-clean your meat. Make sure you get it nice and clean. Like so I'm just going to use some little quick seasoning out of Walmart. I'm not going to show it too long because I'm not sponsored by them. But yeah, hopefully you got the picture. And all I'm going to do is pretty much throw some seasoning on it. No, I'm not going to use a binder because a lot of folks say they don't even like mustard. Some people are allergic to mustard. I want to just show them that this is a way you can do it without even using mustard. Okay? So... Show y'all what we're working with today. Just put a lot of seasoning on for flavor. And just pat it in. Just pat it in. That's all you gotta do. Flip it over. Smack it, flip it, and rub it down. That's all you gotta do. Ooh wee. Well, come on, when you put that good seasoning on it. It's going to give it a bark. That bark is just going to be so much flavor. You would not need no sauce. Trust me. You would not need no sauce for these ribs. Let me see if I can get somebody to taste them today on camera. Let me see if I can get somebody to taste them today. I'm going to go get me a random taste tester and let them taste it. I have some subscribers that they want to see See the, the action. I wish I could cook. When I do that free giveaway, everybody will be able to taste it. All my subscribers. When I do a free giveaway, you got to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. You telling a friend, telling a friend. Because when I do the giveaway, you get everybody will be able to come out and give the free food as long as you locally. Now, if you're not locally, I do something special for everybody that still support me that's not locally. Like far as a gift card. Or maybe I even come to your city and do some cooking. How about that? <laughs> let's network. Let's link. I'm, I'm willing to travel. But as you can see, 
I got these ribs nice and seasoned. I even like to flip mine over like this. And I like to put some over there too. So each bite will be nice and flavorful. Go ahead and comment down below if you think that's enough seasoning or not enough seasoning. This way, you would not need no barbecue sauce. I promise you. It will not be salty either. So, we're gonna let those probably, I'm gonna just let those sit for probably about a good 15, 20 minutes. I got the chimney already going, getting hot. We're gonna put them on a the smoker. And it's time to get down on these baby back ribs. Oh yeah. Getting the chimney nice and hot. No lighter fluid, y'all. No lighter fluid. Get you a chimney like this. Get you a thing called tumbleweeds. Put them up under there. Spark you a nice, clean, clean fire. No more chemicals. So I'm using my chimney to get good and hot. Once my coals are good and ready, we're going to put them on a the grill. And we're going to start smoking this, these, uh, Baby back ribs, 250 degrees. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, nicely seasoned. And we're gonna cook, not over the fire, but you know, indirect heat, of course. Get your charcoals on one side. Set your meat right here. What I will do is, I'm gonna sear the bottom part because of the membrane. That'll help, makes that membrane not tough at all so i'm gonna sear my bottom part the membrane and that way it's gonna help these baby back ribs be nice and tender but if you don't want to sear it you can just take it and score it get a knife and just score the membrane and it's gonna make it nice and tender as well that way you don't have to struggle to pull the membrane if you like to see a membrane pull comment down below and i'll do a video for the next ribs when I pull the membrane off. So yeah, we're getting it right. Smoking good. I'm gonna set the timer and we'll come back out of the chicken. Ooh, wee. Oh yeah, that ain't nothing but an hour in. We're on an hour in. Smoking just right. You can see the bark starting to develop. The bark means like a crust, like where it sticks so good to the meat. As you can see, it's coming along very, very, very well. It's only an hour in. The fire is over here, and the meat is over here. I'm trying to show y'all how to do it low and slow, so this way when I come to your house, or you have company, you can cook just as well as I can. <laughs> so go ahead and like this video and comment right now. If you did spare, uh, not spare ribs, these are baby back ribs. I'm used to doing spare ribs, that's why. So comment down below if you do your baby back ribs and how do you do yours. Low and slow is the key. Oh, we yeah. Make sure you spritz your meat. This is what's gonna really help keep it tender and moist. Make sure you spritz that meat. I got it over the flame, searing up the bottom membrane. You can already see the bone starting to pull back a little bit. We're only an hour and a half in. Oh man, that looks so delicious already. All that seasoning and flavor. Ooh, wee. That looks so good already. I'm ready for the finishing product. All right, yes, sir. We is coming along. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, once you get that sear over with, you can take it and just flip it and see what I sear look like. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now you just take it, slide it back over. I'm trying to work the camera and the tones at the same time, so work with me. <laughs> oh yeah. That was a nice sear. So I need you another flip over. See how I scored it? 
See, I scored it. Just take a knife and score it. And once they score it like that, they'll cook perfect. So now you just let them sit over here for the last two hours. The last two hours right here. And while you got your top open, of course, put a little spritz on it. Keep it moist. Keep it nice and moist. Spritz it up. See how it's staying juicy, keeping that flavor locked in. Oh yeah, keep it moist. So every time you check it, go ahead and spray it. Two more hours, I'm gonna pull the bone out of it. In two more hours, I'm gonna show you how you pull the bone out, make it nice and tender. Keep it sprayed, low and slow, 250 degrees. Be two hours in. Stay tuned. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Make you do the happy dance when you see these. Total of three hours. Three hours. Keep it nice and spritz. Next time y'all see these, they will be coming off. I'll be showing out how to pull the bone out of them. Oh, come on now. Tell me what you think. Ooh, tell me what you think now. Come on and tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. I'm trying to show you now. Ooh, ooh. Baby back ribs. Low and slow. That's the key. And now that the fire is about over, all I'm gonna do is just set it like that. Let this last hour take it on out. Come on now. Ooh, wing. See that bone pulling back? And you see that meat pulling back on that bone like that? <laughs> Low and slow, baby. That's the key. Go ahead and comment now if you made it this far in the video. Say yes, low and slow. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, like I say, keep that meat nice and moist. But you know what time it is, huh? Y'all know what time it is. It's time to pull the bone, y'all. I'm gonna say this is. I'm right at four hours. I'm probably four hours in about twenty minutes, almost thirty minutes. I say. Oh, that season is on now. Oh, look at that bark. See how that, that season don't move? That's that bark. That's what I was telling you about. I believe I could pull the bone out of it. Let's see. Can we pull the bone out? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, I needed somebody to taste this now. Do you see how tender them ribs are? You got to spray your meat to keep it moist. If you ain't spraying it, it ain't gonna be moist. It ain't gonna come out tender like that. Like I say, some baby back ribs. For four and a half hours, low and slow. Bone pulls out clean. Ain't no wrapping, ain't no foil. It's just low and slow. So you're now finna pull these up. I'm gonna take them on the inside. Cut them up. I'm gonna let them rest, and I'm gonna cut them up and see if I can get some uh, somebody else to taste it. Stay tuned. Oh, we do y'all see that? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> finishing product. Finishing product. Man, I'm talking about. What can I say? You seen the bones pull out? I'm trying to see if I can cut it. I don't know if it's. You know, can I cut this or not? I don't know. Let's find out. It's nice and tender. Oh, yeah. See how that just flies down that bone? Perfect smoke ring. Look at that smoke ring. Ooh, you see that smoke? Ooh. <laughs> you see that smoke ring? We're just going to cut them down. Hopefully, I can get somebody to taste it. But if not, you try the recipe at home and let me know how yours come out.
I'm talking about smoke. Look at that smoke ring. Ooh, you see that smoke ring still juicy? Oh man, come on. Baby back ribs smoke to perfection. That knife just glides through the meat. See how it just glides through that meat? Oh man. Let y'all see how nicely that smoke ring is in there. As a matter of fact, let's do it like that. There we go. It looks a lot better for you. Cut these out. So tender. Just got to know how to smoke that meat low and slow, everybody. Make sure you take your time when you're cooking. No need to rush. If you're going to rush cooking, there's no need to cook at all. So the best thing is to get you an appetizer. I'm going to cook you some little sausages or go buy something before you start this process. Oh, look at that. So tender. Look at that nicely. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Man. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Baby back ribs. Smoke to perfection. See that smoke ring. Any mini mighty mama gonna bow them. See the juice? <laughs> you see all that seasoning flavor? I ain't playing no games with it. Tender test time. You see how nice and tender it was? I pulled the bone right out of it, so. There we go. Ain't no sauce. <laughs> Honey, get you a bite. What you bite? You got your bite? That's as I share with you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Smoke Daddy is doing it again. Get you one more bite. Mmm. 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 So much flavor, juicy, flavor, tender. What can I say? They call me smoke at a barbecue for a reason. The best thing is smoking because I know how to smoke some meat. Mmm. Yeah, they do. Mmm. So that membrane don't mean nothing. <laughs> membrane don't stop nothing, baby. That's a perfectly smoked rib. That membrane, don't worry about that. Told you, that don't mean nothing. That meat comes all off that. Perfectly smoked, perfectly grilled. What can I say? I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get somebody to taste it. And if I do get somebody to taste, it, I add to this video. If I don't get nobody to taste it, I. Like I say, I will smoke the meats for you. If you're in my city locally, get with me so I can smoke the meats for you. You can do a review for me, and I'll put you on my YouTube channel. How about that? Come on, now. You can't beat that. Can't beat it, now. I'm giving it to you straight up. With that being said, I'd like to thank everybody for like, coming, subscribing to my channel. If you're new to my channel, if you're first time watching today, make sure you subscribe. Go back and watch all my old videos. I ain't bringing them but them good old bangers. Woo-hoo. Yeah, them bangers. Food going to be on point. Tinder, whatever I do is going to be on point. Get with me. Smoke that barbecue. Signing out.